Simple recipes, simple ingredients. I've got three new recipes for you. Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the making. For our first recipe this week, it's about a 20 minute recipe. It's very easy and it uses ingredients that you probably already have on hand, which is one thing that I'm always looking for when I'm looking for new recipes. This is a 20 minute chicken ramen stir fry. This soy sauce flavor is not Stephen and Cole's favorite flavor. So these two packs of ramen noodles have been sitting in our pantry for a while. We're gonna use them tonight. We're not gonna use the little flavor packs with it, but we're gonna make it way better. So the only chopping I need to do is just chop this broccoli crown into smaller bite-sized pieces. Now that we've got everything chopped, we're gonna start on our sauce. So I am doubling the sauce recipe because that's just what we do. I am using a half a cup of low sodium soy sauce, and I'm gonna whisk that with a couple of tablespoons of cornstarch. We wanna whisk it until there's no lumps left. Let's add in our chicken broth. I've got two thirds a cup of low sodium chicken broth. We're gonna be using about two tablespoons of rice vinegar, four tablespoons of brown sugar, and about six cloves of garlic minced. Let's just give that a good stir and then we're just gonna set this to the side for now. We're gonna heat this pot of water to high heat for this, you don't want to overcook your noodles in the water because they are gonna be added to the sauce and they're gonna to continue to cook. So seriously, once the water starts boiling, we're gonna put this in there for like a minute. That's it. We're gonna heat this large skillet to about medium high heat. This is about one pound of chicken that I've already cut up. We're just gonna add salt and pepper to it or in my case, the Auntie No Knows Everything seasoning because y'all know that's what I use. I'm also gonna add just a little extra pepper just because that's what we like. So I've got some extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon in here. Okay, so I've got our two packs of ramen. We're gonna add it to this really hot water and I'm gonna set a timer for about a minute, minute and a half. That's gonna be it. I gotta hold them down. Can't hold me down. Oh no. You got the nifty thing, it's all fancy. It is, ain't it? It's your fancy colander. I'm adding just a little bit of cold water to this to really stop the cooking process. Okay, so we're just gonna set this to the side for now. Boo! What's up, little girl? Now that our chicken is cooked through, it took about five minutes. We're just gonna remove it to a plate for now. And then we'll put our skillet back on the eye over here. Do y'all call this the eye? That's what I call it. The eye wreathed in flame. Oh my. And we're gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil. Oh, you want me to do this? My sous chef over here. And then we're gonna throw our broccoli in. When you say throw it in, I'm gonna throw it like oh, that. Oh gosh. So we're just gonna saute this for a few minutes. We want it to turn really bright green and we want it to really start to soften up. While this is cooking, we decided we wanted to add just a little bit of butter to this. So that's what we're doing. Butter makes everything butter. <laughs> <laughs> this has got some good color to it. it and it's gotten pretty soft here in just a few minutes. So what we're gonna do now is take our sauce. We're not gonna use all of it quite yet. We just wanna eyeball it. And we're gonna toss all of our broccoli in that. And we want the sauce to reduce down just slightly. So we're gonna cook it for like a minute and a half or so. This is real life over here. This real life, I made a boo-boo. Boo-boo. While he cleans up the boo-boo, I'm gonna do this. All right, we got this. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, it's starting to thicken up. Oh up. yeah. So go ahead and add the rest of it in, babe. Okay, we only had to cook it for like a minute. We're gonna go ahead and add our chicken back in, and then we're gonna add our noodles, and we're gonna toss to coat, and then it's gonna be time to eat. Look at those noodles, how well they are coated. So y'all, it's essential that you do double the sauce. I can't imagine this with just the amount of sauce that they recommended. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah? Yeah, what did you get a bite of the noodles? <laughs> we'll get you some chicken too. You didn't get You're chicken and broccoli. About coated in that sauce, which is absolutely amazing. Mmm, everything's working together. The the sweetness is really like really sweet. Yeah. And that rice um, vinegar. wine mm -hmm. vinegar just poof, lifts everything up. Mm. Oh, and then the garlic is all just infused in there. Can't I can't wait any longer. Hang on, I'll be right back, y'all. Y'all, this is delicious. This, is, this has got to be the number one Asian inspired dish we've had in our house. It has to Shut be. your mouth, are you I mean, serious? It has to be somewhere up there. It's, I mean, it's up there. We'd have to, I'd have to look back and see. This is amazing. It, it is, it's so good, y'all. The noodles are perfectly cooked. Yes. So only boil those for like a minute and then drain them and put a little bit of cold water on them because I read in the comments of this recipe 
that some people cook them too long and then they become mush. So you don't want that. So make sure you only cook those for a minute. And I hate that Cole isn't here to try it. I'll have to make it for him. He would love this. Mm. Okay, on a scale of one to 10, a 20. Mm. Just make it, I promise you'll love it. Okay, y'all, it is the second recipe of the week. This one sounds so good, I just had to try it. It is called Cajun Cabbage Jambalaya. It's only 2.45 in the afternoon, but I'm gonna go ahead and prep by chopping up our ingredients for later today so that when it's time to make dinner, I don't have to do that. We can just kind of throw it all together. So in this small bowl, I have half a median onion chopped. I have one clove of garlic. I did two because mine were kind of small and a green bell pepper and two stalks of celery. All of that chopped. You don't want it too small, just chopped. Now we're gonna chop up this cabbage. I need two to three cups of chopped cabbage. This is a pretty small head, so it should be the whole thing. The last time I cut up cabbage, y'all told me to quarter it and then remove the stem. And I just did that here and it's so much easier. So thank you. Okay, I'm gonna save this cabbage because we have about three, almost four cups here and that's all we need. So I'm done for now. I will see y'all back here in just a little bit. It's been several hours. Let's get started on dinner. We need a half a pound of sausage, so I'll use half of this. And then I'll also use just about half of this smoked sausage. I am gonna chop it up as well. It looks like a candy cane. <laughs> okay, I've got this large skillet here. I'm heating it to about medium high heat. And while I'm waiting on that to warm up, I just wanted to show you, we're gonna be cooking all of this together. So my sliced sausage, my half a pound of sausage, and all of these veggies. So it's all the veggies except for the cabbage. So we're just gonna cook this until our sausage is cooked through. It's about halfway done now, so it's just gonna take a couple more minutes. Our sausage is completely done and our veggies are pretty tender. So let's start adding in the rest of our ingredients. We need one can of diced tomatoes. I'm just gonna leave the juice in. You're gonna use one can of chicken broth or about 14 and a half ounces of chicken broth. We're gonna throw in our cabbage. You need two to three cups of chopped cabbage. Some of this Cajun or Creole seasoning. I need about a teaspoon of that. I'm gonna crank the heat up a little bit because we're gonna want to bring this to a boil. Let's add in a half a cup of long grain white rice. And we're just gonna finish with a little salt and pepper. It's starting to bubble, so I'm gonna turn my heat down and we're gonna just simmer this for 35 to 40 minutes. It does say to simmer it uncovered. I'm just gonna keep an eye on it because I'm worried that I'm gonna lose too much liquid during that time, but we'll see. I'm gonna set a timer for 35 minutes and I'm not gonna just walk away. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Update, we have 14 minutes left. I did turn the heat up just a little bit to closer to medium. I might end up putting the lid on at the very end, it just depends, but I just don't want to have crunchy rice, so stay tuned. At about five minutes left, I did a little taste test with this spoon here and some of the rice was still a little crunchy, so I did put a lid on for five minutes. It is perfect now. So I'm actually gonna turn it down I've got some biscuits in the oven. Once those come out, it'll be time to eat. Wow. Yes. Oh, a little of that spicy now. Mm -hmm. Got a little spiciness in there now. Ooh, the smoky sausage flavor is just really coming through. And then the cabbage is cooked perfectly. Good. Love that. And the rice is texture. all done, right? Yes, okay. the rice is completely cooked through. Okay, good. Love the textures of this spiciness of it. Mm -hmm. Speaking of spicy, are you gonna add some of this Tabasco Chipotle? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna dig in. He's gonna keep eating. Mm -hmm. We just put a little bit of uh, diced green onion on top just for color and an extra pop of flavor, but. Oh, wow. He seems pretty happy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a shot myself. So this is delicious. Yes. Just the right amount of spice. Steven had a good point. Yeah. It's nice and balanced with all the ingredients. It's not too much rice, you yes. know? Yes. It's not mostly rice. It's not mostly rice, yes. yeah. I agree. Okay, y'all, it is the third recipe of the week, and that means it's subby supper night. So in full disclosure, I started subby supper earlier today because it's in the crock pot. Our subby supper comes from Cynthia. 
Cynthia and her husband are both retired and they live in Wisconsin and she said they both love watching my videos and trying new recipes. She sent this one over and she calls these the best pork chops ever. It's truly such a simple recipe. Let's go back to this morning and I'll show you how to make it. To get started, we just need to sear these pork chops over here on the stove top. So I've just got this large skillet. I'm heating it to about medium high heat. I'm gonna add just a little bit of olive oil in and sear these on either side. Now, Cynthia did mention that she uses bone-in pork chops. This is just what I had on hand. These are from ButcherBox, so I wanted to use them up. So feel free to use either or. So after just a couple of minutes, you should have a little bit of color on one side, so go ahead and flip them. And then after a couple of more minutes, you should have a little bit of color on the other side as well. We're just gonna transfer them into our crock pot. Now I'm gonna add just a little bit of chicken broth here and deglaze this pan and just pour it right in over the pork chops. Here's another case of do what I say, not what I do. Before you add your pork chops in here, you're gonna mix all of the other, other ingredients directly here in your slow cooker so that you don't have to dirty another bowl like I'm about to do. So to your slow cooker, you're gonna add, now this is before the chops, one can of cream of chicken soup, one package of beefy onion soup mix, one package of pork flavored gravy, well, the mix. And then we're just gonna take our can here, our empty can, and fill it up one and a half times with water. We're gonna add in about a half a teaspoon of dried parsley flakes and just a little black pepper. Let's stir all of that together and then we're just gonna pour this over our pork chops but you would be doing this directly in the crock pot and then adding your pork chops to it because you're smarter than I am. <laughs> Let's put the lid on this and you can cook this on high for about three to four hours or on low for about six hours. Oh man, this just falls apart. Well, good. Get some of my shirt too. That's the kind of meal you that want. That is the kind of meal you want for Time sure. will leave some drippings on your shirt. <laughs> You have those meals a lot, baby. Well, the, the, the meat just falls apart because it's been slow cooked all day. Mm -hmm. So then you just dip it in that gravy there, mm -hmm. mashed potatoes. Mmm. That gravy and sauce is amazing. Okay. Really tender, yeah. juicy. Uh, so the pork chop is not. Apart pork chop. It didn't dry out. That searing worked well. Mm -hmm. It kept it juicy, right? Mm hmm. Good. And then we got the green beans too. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you what. Ma'am, she said, look, I want to give a taste test. <laughs> Gracie Lou. She said, I know I got, you got, y'all got something up there for me. I know, little girl. All right, so I'm gonna dig in. So Cynthia said these are the best pork chops ever. Are these up there? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, okay. Well, I'm gonna dig in. I made a big old mess on my plate. Y'all see this? This is, that one was for plating up for YouTube. <laughs> this over here, this is real life. That ought to be my plate right there. <laughs> Only got me some more gravy. <laughs> he got a little more taters and gravy. Can't have enough gravy and taters now. Look y'all, this is good. This is Southern comfort food. <sighs> this is, I mean, it just makes you think of like Sunday dinner. That's what it makes me think of. Sunday after church, dinner. Mm. Look, he's just having a party over there. Y'all just ignore him. <laughs> Y'all should just make this. Mm. Thank you, Cynthia, for sending this in. What were you gonna say? Make sure you have jugs of that gravy. Uh-huh, that gravy's good. Bring me some buckets of it in there. It's good. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you are new here, hit that red subscribe button before you go. That way you won't miss any more of my videos. Also, if you're looking for the recipes that you saw today, I've got them linked in the description box below, or you can just go to my website. It's just mandyinthemaking.com. Thanks y'all, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Punch them buttons, babe. I can't. I can't believe we're doing that right now. Are you so excited? I am excited. I know you are. I'm so excited. <laughs> Gorgeous. Stop. You stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop, stop it. Stop, stop it. Oh, you're just so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you're making me some noodles. Stop. My chicken noodles are going to be good. Chicken noodles? Chicken noodles. <laughs> Gotta break up these noodles. Break it up, guys. Break it up. <laughs> Why won't they? They really love each other.
Oh yeah. Noodles of love. <laughs> what you doing over there? <laughs> My phone is not on silent. It's over here making noises. Little girl. You just can't help it. I can't help it. This jambalaya looks good. It does look good. This jambalaya. Grace. It's very balanced. I agree. Ma'am. Honey, do you want some biscuit? Do you want biscuit? Hmm? Mm. <laughs> you and your carb self. Right. Wait, 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 wait. The carb queen has spoken.